like a Hellcat. Hey guys, it's RX Manga here, coming at you today with an acceptance to Apollo Gray's completion challenge for the year of 2017. So for those of you who don't know, the completion challenge was issued by Apollo Gray on I believe February 26th with the ending of the February manga challenge of reading one manga, at least one manga a day for a whole month. Uh, Apollo Gray has deemed it necessary to unload another challenge on us. Now this one's a little bit different. This one we have a year to complete it and you pick out some series that you own that you're not up to date on or that you don't own uh, and that you would like to collect uh, and you complete them throughout the year. Uh, one stipulation is that you have to have at least one from your list on your manga haul on every, whenever you do a manga haul, uh, which shouldn't be hard considering if you're participating in the challenge, you're trying to complete stuff, uh, it should probably be in your haul. Um, so jumping into my list, I have seven, seven series that I, no, hold on, I apologize, it is, Eight series that I would like to complete and I am mandating that five of them be completed um, so if we're gonna move this guy out of the way real quick remember everybody I hope you're enjoying your RX energies as we speak to the energy so number one of the series that I must complete is Naoki Urasawa's monster uh, so currently I own volumes one and four uh, I don't remember how I got volume four, uh, but I got volume one. I got uh, uh, probably about halfway through it uh, and was very interested in the uh, story and where it was going. So I went ahead and stopped uh, and decided I will wait uh, until I get all of it to read it start to finish. And I don't remember how I picked up volume four, but uh, I haven't picked up any in a long time and I really just need to complete this. It's nine volumes. It shouldn't be that hard. Uh, it is 20 bucks, but I mean, you can find them a bit cheaper than that nowadays. Uh, so that's mandate number one. Uh, number two is Mobile Suit Gundam The or Origin. Uh, now this, everybody should, if you don't have this complete, everybody should complete this during this challenge because these, these hardcover releases are just absolutely incredible. I mean, they are just amazing uh, so currently I have volumes one two uh, three nine eleven and twelve and there are I believe twelve volumes uh, and the reason that I have those weird numbers is because I've been picking them up as I find them for cheap uh, most of them that I own I've gotten for at least half price uh, so these are going to be a little bit harder for me because I do intend to get them really cheap. I do want to try and get them for all at least half price because these are amazing releases, but they are $30. Um, but if I can find any for 20 bucks or less, I'm definitely picking them up. Uh, so that is mandate number two that will be completed during this challenge. Uh, mandate number three are the Vizbigs of uh, Vagabond. Uh, this is another amazing series with some of the best artwork just in the industry. I mean, um, Takahito Inoue has just such superb, uh, realistic, uh, photo, photo realistic imagery in here that is just uh, incredible. Um, so I currently own volumes one, two, and three of the Viz Bigs. Um, another main reason I want to finish it is because they do have the sprawling um, spines with one complete image, which I absolutely adore. Um, so I own volumes one, two, and three, and there are 12, so it shouldn't be too terribly hard to get. Uh, and they are 20 bucks, so it's really not that bad for, uh, for Viz Big, for a big three in one. Um, and you can usually find them for pretty cheap. Uh, I think one, two, and three that I own, I got for like 10 bucks a piece. So again, more half off stuff. I love finding stuff half off. If I see it 50% off, I'm probably buying it. Uh, the next one, uh, that is a super little short one is, uh, Ultraman. Um, I found this at my, uh, local books a million. 
and um, I don't know why it just looked interesting and I popped it open and I think I read two chapters while I was at the uh, books a million and I said yeah yeah I think I need this uh, it was very cool I really like the artwork um, I like the premise I like the characters uh, it's very it's just cool I think it's just old school um, kaiju kind of kind of new school on a retro take or new school take on a retro style uh, which was very cool so currently I own volumes one two four and six uh, now these I've been mostly picking up at my books a million and they've just had odd numbers uh, and for some reason I have two uh, volume two which is strange and a little annoying um, so I just need currently this is an ongoing series so they have volume seven just released uh, so I guess I just need volumes three five and seven um, but this one I will keep on going uh, and keep up to date on. Uh, and the last of the ones that I am mandating that I finish is Neon Genesis Evangelion the Omnibus. Uh, currently I only own uh, Omnibus 2 which covers 4, 5, and 6. There are only 5 Omnibus or Omnibi. Um, and these, I just found out my local Books A Million uh, has all five of them. Uh, and that's why I picked up this one, which was uh, marked down half price for some reason. I flipped through it a bunch of times, and the only problem I could see is uh, the uh, glue uh, is a little funky here. But, I mean, there's literally nothing wrong with this thing. Uh, but it was marked half price for some reason. So I picked that up, uh, and I will probably be picking up the other four uh, fairly quickly. Uh, since they're at my Books A Million or my uh, Barnes & Noble and uh, they usually have coupons and good deals going on for these things and uh, I think they're just 20 bucks, right? Yeah, 20 bucks. If I can find a good coupon, uh, get those off, be really easy. Now, the other two I would like to complete but I'm not going to mandate it because uh, one is hard to get and a little expensive and the other one only has my passing attention. Uh, first one is Ubel Blot. Um, like a lot of people have said before, the first couple chapters are just strange. They don't really make sense. They don't really tell you what's going on. Uh, they're just a little weird. But once you get past those first two, it really gets into the actual story. Uh, I don't even know if those first two were even necessary. Um, but it was a very interesting premise, very interesting world. Um, it really hooked my attention early on, but has since waned due to other series mostly my next one which I think most people have kind of uh, figured out maybe but um so I will try and get the rest of these uh, this one's also ongoing um, I don't know how many come in this I think there's seven of these out I have issue zero which is an, actually a very interesting way to do it is release an issue zero it's strange but it's interesting so there's only seven more that I need um, I'm going to try and pick those up, but uh, if the money's there, it'll happen. If not, eh, it's not that not bit, that big a deal. Uh, now, the other one that I'm very excited to complete, but I'm having a little bit of difficulty putting on my mandate, is, of course, Berserk, Volume 1, Volume 2. I have Volumes 1 through 11, Volumes 22, 32, and 37. So I need Volumes 12 through 21. 23 through 31, uh, 33 through 36, and the new 38 that's coming out later in the year. Uh, I believe that is 20 volumes that I need. Uh, I'm going to try, uh, but at $15 a pop, obviously you won't be paying $15 a pop, but I can usually find them for nine to twelve dollars um if i can find it for under ten i'll definitely be picking them up uh but i gotta find them for cheap for me to get them and at 20 volumes have to buy three per month and it's just kind of a lot so um i will be trying my best to complete this this year uh but i am not going to mandate it simply because of the um the the problems this series obviously has i am going to be trying to get the uh the reprints uh, with the dark horse on the bottom since my theory there if you haven't heard already is that um, my volume one is a uh, first print everything else will be a uh, second print because volume 38 is going to be coming out with the reprinted spine because it's the first one to be released uh, after the spine redesign and for for um, 
consistency's sake, I am going to get the reprints to have the, all the spines match and it won't drive me nuts. Um, so those are the series that I am going to be trying uh, slash definitely completing this year. Uh, I am definitely looking forward to this challenge. Uh, it's going to make my hauls much more fun. Uh, it's going to focus my buying a lot better, which I've been trying to do anyway. Uh, and I am usually very good about keeping up to date um, on all the series that I'm reading that are either complete or ongoing, I catch up. Uh, you guys will all see that in my very soon to be upcoming uh, room tour. Um, so I'm usually very good about keeping these series up to date, uh, but these are basically all the series that I own uh, that I'm not up to date on. So this will basically catch me up to almost everything I own. Uh, one more one that I'm going to try and complete that I completely blanked on is Biomega. Uh, I would love to complete Biomega. It's only six massive issues, uh, six massive volumes long. Uh, it looks very cool. I just got Blam uh, Volume 1. Uh, I loved it. I love the, uh, the storytelling with images uh, using visual storytelling. Uh, and Biomega is by the same mangaka. Uh, so I would love to try and get all of those, but I will not mandate those. Um, so thank you all for watching. I look forward to doing this challenge with all of you and look forward to seeing your guys' progress. Uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share me with your friends. Follow me on Twitter. Please leave uh, any comments you have down below of what you think I can do better with the videos, uh, criticisms of course. Um, what you think of the series I'm completing, what are you guys completing, uh, all that excellent stuff, and I will catch you guys next time, hopefully with some of these, uh, some of these getting completed in this next haul maybe, so something to look forward to. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Like a Hellcat.